Hey, Middlesex County Votech, it's Mr. Flood. I was at your school last year. Well, this year? Was I there this year or last year? Oh, man, I don't remember. No, I was there this year, right? I was there in the fall, and I was there a couple years ago. So regardless of when I was there, it's Mr. Flood. I am surprising uh, Mr. Feldman and Mr. Cappiello and Mrs. Gordon with this video, and I hope they're surprising you with it. Surprise. I wanted to bring an encouraging message to some of the schools that I felt close to and Middlesex County Votech and all of you guys and girls there are people I feel close to, regardless of whether or not you feel close to me. I am thinking of you, taking care of myself and my family, obviously first, as I hope all of you are doing too. Um, but during this strange, weird, scary, uncertain, unusual, what other adjectives can I come up with? to describe this time when we're out of school. Uh, you know, I wanted to encourage you and say a couple things to you guys and girls. Number one, you're going to be okay. So be very careful about the information you take in uh, on social media and even through the news that you filter it through someone and you don't get too much of it. You know, take in enough information to keep you educated about what's going on, but not overwhelm you. Educated, but not overwhelmed. And have a healthy fear and not an unhealthy fear. Healthy fear is I'm not going to touch this stove because it's it'll burn me. I'm not going to put my hand under scalding water because it'll burn me. That's healthy fear. Unhealthy fear is I'm not going to go to the mailbox and get the mail because I'm going to get the virus. That's unhealthy fear. It's not realistic. So, yes, wash your hands. Take care of yourself. You know, we're not going out now. We're as much as we used to. We're okay. Filter what you take in. Very important. Uh, second reason, the second thing I wanted to talk to you about, you know, guys and girls, in my message, and I hope you all remember this, I talk a lot about how we're all alike on the inside. And if ever a time when that message has been, let's turn down my music a little bit here, has been reinforced by this virus, you know, the virus doesn't care what color your skin is, where you go to school, where you live, who your parents are, who your friends are, what religion you are, um, what national. It doesn't care, right? We're all alike on the inside. So what does that mean, Mr. Flood? It means that we need to come together, acknowledge that we're all alike, and look out for others. You know, take care of, like I talk about, take care of those around us. And if ever there was a time, guys and girls for you to reach out and try and connect with kids who were isolated when they were in school and now they're super doubly isolated, now is that time. So think of those kids in your school who might be even more isolated now, are more isolated now than when they're even in school because they're home all the time. So please think of them and reach out to and connect with them. It's super important because you'd want someone to do that for you. And the other thing I really want you to take into account, guys and girls, is your teachers. You know, they have been thrown into this really unusual uh, situation. Some of them have kids who are not in school yet, so they're home with their spouses, right? And they have to, so they have to navigate that, taking care of their kids, taking care of their spouse in the house, and then taking care of you guys and teaching you online, where before... They would compartmentalize. Their kids would go to daycare. Their spouse would go to work. They would do their things at home and then come to school. So it's two separate things. Now everything has come together. They may have kids who are your age or just a little bit younger that they have to t help navigate and teach online. So they've got that. They may not have been prepared for this. You know, not a lot of teachers have taught online yet. Okay. They don't have a room in their house where they can go lock themselves up to escape everybody, everything or lock themselves in to teach you, there's distractions at home. So please give teachers the benefit of the doubt, be understanding for them, show up, not in person, but virtually for them, ask them how you can help them, be present. You know, can you have a bad day? Sure. Can you crack a joke online? Sure. No problem. But be very vigilant and be aware that teachers are, you know, getting, learning new things every day, like on the fly. So Make sure that you're especially vigilant of the way that you're behaving and just show up in class. You know, ask them how they can, how you can help and, you know, bring other people in, uh, uh, reach out to the counselors and any way that you can just even be more connected to teachers so that when you get back to school, because we will go back. I don't know if it will be this year, but we will go back eventually, right? So we will go back eventually. So stay connected to 
and have um, leniency and understanding of your teachers that they're trying to navigate this new way to teach you guys online. It can be very, very difficult. And, you know, ultimately the message is take care of those around you, everyone, right? Through FaceTime, phone, email, text, whatever it is, stay connected. And especially guys and girls, I can't emphasize enough, please reach out to the kids who are really isolated now, even more so than usual. I hope you're all well. I'll run into some of you guys wherever, Dunkin' Donuts someday when this is back to normal in New Jersey or wherever. Uh, but please take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and think of those kids um, that you haven't thought of in a while. Have a great day, guys. Be well, Middlesex County Votech. See you soon.